KHIZ, TP64, Barstow, Victorville, Upper Valley, Hesperia. This is KHIZ, TP64 News at 6 with Dave Wiley, Robert Blue on sports, and weather with Jim Tillman. Are you ready? Gas rates are headed down. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Wiley. Thanks for joining us tonight. Topping our news, the price of natural gas is going down, but it remains at higher than normal levels. Southwest Gas has notified the Public Utilities Commission that it is lowering natural gas rates by nearly 18 percent. That means an average drop of nearly $29 per customer in the Victor Valley and Barstow areas. Southwest officials say the decrease comes as a result of a drop in the price of natural gas on the market. However, Southwest Gas Vice President Lowell Bamford says the cost of natural gas remains high. He says the cost of gas at the California border last week was still in excess of $1.10 per therm compared to just 30 cents per therm last year. In the meantime, Southwest Gas has donated $20,000 to the Energy Share Fund, which is managed by the Salvation Army to assist low-income families and senior citizens. Victorville police are looking for a man who attempted to rob a merchant outside a local bank. The incident occurred around 10 o'clock this morning in the parking lot of Bank of America on Amargosa Road. Authorities say the suspect attempted unsuccessfully to take the merchant's cash bag. The suspect then fled northwest through a construction zone. No one was injured and no arrests have been made. There have been at least two similar incidents outside that same bank in the last two months. It's not known if they are related. Officials say they have a suspect in the fatal hit and run of a pedestrian in Hesperia Saturday night. 30-year-old Jorge Vienza was run down as he walked along Main Street near Locust Avenue. The driver fled the scene. Detective Glenn Mellor says the, that an anonymous tip led them Monday to a Riverside County man. He allegedly admitted to the crash and told detectives that he fled because he was an unlicensed driver. Police also found the car that allegedly hit the victim, a 1998 Plymouth Breeze. The suspect, whose name is not being released, was not arrested, pending a review of the case by the district attorney's office. Meantime, the coroner's office is asking for the public's help in finding the victim's family. Jorge Vienza had a girlfriend named Linda Marie Crowther and a sister in Long Beach named Maria Vasquez. So far, officials have not been able to locate either one. Anyone with information about the victim's family is asked to call the coroner or the Hesperia Sheriff Station. A Hesperia man and his twin brother are accused of stealing big rig trucks loaded with millions of dollars of merchandise. Sheriff's Department investigators have found nine big rigs loaded with computers, monitors, and other electronics at a storage facility in Fontana. Officials say they have found parts to about 40 other trucks. More than $3 million in stolen goods have been recovered. Police have arrested 33-year-old Gerald McLeod of Fontana and are searching for his twin brother, Jerome McLeod of Hesperia. Well, it's no secret that California is earthquake country. Scientists say it's only a matter of time before a large destructive quake hits this region. April is earthquake preparedness month, and today many in the high desert took part in a duck cover and hold drill. Among those practicing for the big one were a number of employees at Victorville City Hall. At 10.30, employees simulated an earthquake and scrambled underneath their desks. We're doing it mainly to show the public that this is what you do to protect yourself against falling objects uh, and this sort of things for the earthquake. Upon the uh, event occurring, the first thing you want to do is to get under the closest solid object that you can find. You duck, you cover your head, and you hold and ride out the earthquake and you do not leave the building until after the shaking stops. Uh, many people are injured or killed uh, in earthquakes by panic uh, and by running out of the building and uh, being hit by falling objects, masonry, etc., from the exterior of the structure. Officials also encourage residents to put together a, an emergency kit that includes non-perishable food items, water, and first aid items. If you need more information about earthquake preparedness, most local fire departments have that information available. Well, coming up next, we've got a check of your high desert forecast. The wind's really blowing out there. We'll tell you what to expect for the rest of the day. Rain could be on the way. Plus, Robert Blue in with Check of Sports. You won't want to miss it. Stay tuned. 
It's a fact. G.A. Osborne Pipe and Supply carries everything you need to get the job done right. They're the High Desert's largest stocking distributors of pipe and supply. Now, they've been serving contractors and homeowners since 1979. They carry the largest selection of major brand drip tubing. One half by 100 feet, 449. One half by 500 feet, 1899. And one half by 1,000 feet, 3649. So for your next job, big or small, make G.A. Osborne your next and only stop. Saturn Cleaners is where you go in the high desert to have professional dry cleaning and alterations. Right now, if you have any garment excluding leather, formal suede, and wedding gowns dry cleaned, you can do it for only $1.50 each prepaid. Or have regular dress shirts laundered for only $1.20 each prepaid. Saturn Cleaners has three locations in the high desert to serve you. In Victorville on Mariposa Road in the Circuit City Center, on Armagosa and Palmdale Road behind Tom's Burgers, and in Hesperia on Main Street and 9. The beginning is here, the all-new Valley High Toyota Honda. Don't miss the experience. You know, they gave me a really great deal. I was treated really great. It's uh, definitely, definitely a nice place. We've been through all different dealerships here in the high desert, and we received the best service here. Don't put an ugly face on your good name. Horror stories abound about ID theft. Cases of stolen identity don't just happen in the movies or in mystery novels. They happen to real people and ever more frequently. Look for this ID protection checklist in your bank statement from DCB. It has the easiest and best ways to protect your good name. Don't let ID theft take on a life of its own. Yours. Welcome back. Well, things cooled down today and the wind stuck around. It was not a pleasant day weather-wise and doesn't look much better for the rest of the week. We'll get you up to date on that in just a moment. Let's take a look at the national map and here we go. You can see the windy conditions out on the west uh, in our area. Showers uh, moving down into northern California could be a factor in our area a little bit later this week. Thunderstorms uh, over the south and in the Midwest. As for us, temperature-wise today, boy, we dropped quite a bit. In fact, it was cooler than even we expected. Let's go outside and take a look at those numbers for the day. 55 was our high. It felt much cooler than that with uh, the winds blowing as high as they were. 41-year overnight low. The humidity up as we had a, a few more clouds in the area. The partly cloudy skies today. And a lot of uh, clouds are around the mountain areas. Winds. Uh, 17 to 28 miles an hour with peak gusts up to 31 miles per hour. Barometer at 29.89. Well, it looks like this weather is going to stay with us at least for the next three or four days. Cloudy skies continue to be in our forecast. We saw that storm system moving into northern California could be a factor in our area by Thursday. Let's take a look at the KHI 60 forecast. There you go. Mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. Your high 59 degrees. Then Thursday, as we mentioned, a possibility right now looking at scattered showers, but certainly a possibility of precipitation on Thursday here in the high desert. Friday, cloudy skies, 63, and we'll see some clearing by the weekend. Partly cloudy skies and things warming up just a tad at 66, your projected high for Saturday. So we're getting a little bit more of winter weather before we get full into spring. It came back, didn't it? It sure did. It sure did. Yeah, but it is kind of a miserable, windy day for us Arizona fans. For us Duke fans, however, what a, the sun is shining bright wherever we go. <laughs> but he did get paid off. I did, yeah. I did pay my debt. Yeah. It's going to break me, but... Maybe, maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Here's a sport we don't see locally very often. If you're using the excuse that it's too hot outside to exercise or that you're too old, take a tip from these men that have found a solution to those excuses. Uh, I run the adult leagues in Ontario on Holt Avenue. Been doing it for about 15 years. And we have a uh, novice intermediate league. There's 10 teams we play at night, Monday through Thursdays. And then on Wednesday night, there's a dance league. There's a semi-contact, and uh, it's a good time. And uh, we invite the families out and people. We have a few women that play in the novice league. 
a couple teenagers, but for the most part, it's a, it's an adult hockey league. And we have a good time. At your real I own a local business up there, a gun store, Lock, Stock, and Barrel Gun Company, right here there in Victorville. And I come down here three nights a week to play hockey. It's good exercise and uh, keeps me in good shape. And uh, I live up in Victorville, but I work at Esprit. I'm a vice principal out at Ranchero Middle School. The uh, I like playing down here. I play twice a week. It's the closest rink to me, and uh, that's why I do it. Uh, it's not the largest rink, but it is the nicest one that's close by. So. Well, we're at Ontario Ice Skating Center here tonight, and uh, I come down two nights a week. I play on two teams. I play goalie on one, and usually right wing on the other. And I live in Victorville, and I uh, work for a TV station up there. Um, I'll give you two guesses. Which one? Well, I think I have an idea on that television station. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Now for some action in headline sports. All the Shane Batty, A. Jason Williams hype, it was Mike Dunleavy's 18 second half points that helped lift Duke to its third national championship. Dunleavy had 21 overall, Shane Batty a slam 18 along with 11 boards as the Devils down Arizona 82-72 at the Metrodome. Coach is such a tremendous influence in my life and, and to give him his third championship and, and se separate him from the pack that has won two uh, is the best way that I could go out. It's my going away present to him. In front of new Hall of Famer Dave Winfield, the three-time defending champion Yankees rocked the Royals 7-3. Roger Clemens struck out five to become the AL's all-time strikeout king with 3,509. The Rockies' $121 million man Mike Hampton made a successful debut, to say the least, shutting out the cards over eight and a third and played stellar D as well in an eight-zip win. New grass at Synergy Field didn't help the Reds. Rafael Fercal went two for three with a homer off Denise Reyes as the Braves bombed since E-10-4. Andre Kovalenko scored with 2.07 left in OT to lift Boston back into the East's eighth playoff spot with a 3-2 win over Montreal. We never vent CNN Headline Sports. Thanks for that, Bram. You know, we all like to get behind our teams, but we have to remember, it's just a game. The NCAA has crowned a new king. The top-ranked Duke Blue Devils won their third national championship last night, blowing out Arizona 82-72. to And Blue Devil fans danced around the bonfire to celebrate their team's sizzling victory. But disgruntled Arizona fans didn't take the loss in good spirit. In fact, many took out their frustration in a street disturbance. In an effort to quell the crowd, police fired stun grenades and rubber bullets into a throng of people, some of whom had overturned cars and set them on fire. No word on injuries. Mm. So, like I said, you know, we can celebrate, we can support, we can have fun, but, you know, let's not go too far. A uh, hockey story, a lot of fun there. A lot of people from Victorville go down to Ontario to play hockey, so that was, you know, that's pretty good news. We do have another area of sports we can participate in. And Steve Grimm, who uh, keeps us on the air here, is one of our engineers, had no idea. Yeah. Had and no a, idea. A fairly older, older guy, so, you know, there's no excuse. Fairly old. He's really old. But... <laughs> I didn't say that, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> no, but wow, he's looking good out there. All yes. right. Thanks, Robert. Well, the stock market's plunged today. Nathan Lynch has the details brought to you by Morgan Stanley. Good evening. Here's today's closing stock market report. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed at 94.85, down 292 points from yesterday's close. Volume was heavy at 1.3 billion shares traded. Some of the most active stocks on the big board today include EMC Corp. down $4.10 to $25.21, Lucent down $0.98 cents to $7.85, and Agir down $0.44 cents to $4.94. The Nasdaq Composite closed at $16.73, down 109 points. Some of the most active on the Nasdaq today, Cisco was down 1 and 5 sixteenths to 13 and 3 quarters, Oracle was down 207 to 13 and a quarter, and Ariba was down 2 and 1 16th to 4 and 7 16th. The S&P 500 index closed at 1106, down 39 points. Stocks of local interest include Desert Community Bank was up 1 and a quarter to 25 and a quarter, Edison International up 27 cents to 1282, Home Depot was up a nickel to 4260, and Clear Channel was down 176 to 5202. The 30-year Treasury is yielding 5.47%. This is Nathan Lynch with Morgan Stanley here in Victorville. Back to you. 
All right, thanks, Nathan. Experts say that too much caffeine can cause headaches, nausea, and depression. We will show you where we found this common stimulant. And we have the latest airline customer service report from the government. Details when KHIZ News continues. Regretfully, when families come apart, sometimes chaos prevails. There are no rules, no structure, no boundaries. Child custody, division of property, the future standard living of your family are all at risk. You need an experienced, compassionate professional to guide you through this most difficult time. Call me. I'll get the orders that provide the rules, the structure, and the boundaries that your family needs. When you need respect and confidence in the courtroom, call Medeiros & Associates, a name you know, a name you can trust. Looking for a gift for someone special? Well, nothing says I love you better than a beautiful piece of jewelry from Ozell's Jewelers. Ozell's is a dealer in the finest gems and custom-made jewelry. They can set, replace, or redesign to suit your personal taste. Ozell's is family-owned and operated, and you'll find the prices surprisingly low. We will custom design and repair your fine jewelry while you wait. Say something special with a beautiful gift from Ozell's Jewelers in the Mall of Victor Valley. Attention investors, do you have an opinion? Now you have the opportunity to invest in rising or falling markets using Dow Jones futures and options contracts. Take the guesswork out of picking individual stocks. Discover the power of leverage where contracts equal 10 times the current Dow Jones industrial average. Futures and options investing involves substantial risk of loss and are not suitable for everyone. Call the number on your screen for a free CD-ROM on options investing. Call the number on your screen to reach Barclay Financial. Welcome back. These are the stories making headlines around the world with Stacey Elgin. The U.S. Senate passes the campaign finance reform bill by a 59 to 41 vote. The bill would ban so-called soft money contributions made to political parties. It could cause a battle in the House and must also gain President Bush's signature. The Census Bureau says the U.S. experienced the biggest population increase in its history during the 1990s. It shows more than 281 million people living in the U.S. in 2000. New York and Los Angeles are still the two most populated cities. And the Duke Blue Devils are living up to their number one ranking. They beat Arizona last night in Minneapolis to win the NCAA basketball championship. Fans in Tucson weren't happy with the outcome and started rioting. Police fired stun grenades and rubber bullets to calm the crowds. Several cars were overturned and set on fire. That's a look at the headlines. I'm Stacey Elgin. You may not know this, but too much caffeine can cause headaches, nausea, and even depression. This common stimulant is found in some unexpected items, including pain relievers, and even decaffeinated coffee. In today's edition of Your Health, Anna Hoven takes a look at the other hidden sources. If you're trying to cut caffeine from your diet, look beyond the usual suspects. Most people know that it's in coffee, tea, and cola, but caffeine can be found in some unexpected places. Even a cup of decaffeinated coffee contains small amounts. Soft drinks like sun-kissed orange soda, Mountain Dew, and Surge can also pack a jittery jolt. So can hot cocoa. Coffee-flavored ice cream is another source. And don't forget chocolate. Dark chocolate contains more than twice the caffeine of milk chocolate. Even pain relievers can contain caffeine because it helps alleviate certain types of headaches. So, just how much caffeine is too much? People have different tolerance levels. If you're very sensitive to caffeine or consume too much, you may experience nausea, increased heart rate, restlessness, anxiety, depression, and difficulty sleeping. For your health, Anna Hovind. It'd be tough to give up that cup of coffee, I'll tell you. Well, a government study finds that airlines are slipping in the customer service department and Napster lovers may soon have a new alternative on the Internet. Jennifer Hazelton has more on those stories in Consumer Watch. A new study shows the nation's airlines aren't living up to their promises of better service. The annual National Airline Quality Rating Study shows more and more passengers were bumped from flights, had flight delays, or had mishandled baggage in the year 2000. Delta Airlines won the highest ratings for passenger service among the 10 major airlines. 
followed by Alaska, Southwest, and U.S. Airways. Music lovers have a new downloading option. Three major music companies are joining forces with real networks to create an online music platform called MusicNet. AOL Time Warner, Bertelsmann, and EMI will own a stake in MusicNet and will license their music to the new platform. But unlike Napster, users will have to pay a subscription fee. Clothing designer Donna Karen is in fashion on Wall Street. The fashion house okayed a sweetened takeover from European luxury goods giant LVMH. The Karen trademarks were sold to the company in January. LVMH plans to operate Donna Karen as a separate brand. The fashion house markets the Donna Karen and DKNY brands and has 95 shops nationwide. A new player sits atop the Fortune 500 list. Exxon Mobil Corporation now rules the number one spot. Walmart hangs on to its number two location. Automaker GM falls a couple notches from number one to number three, while Ford stays at number four. And General Electric rounds out the top five. With Consumer Watch, I'm Jennifer Hazelton. A, br a quick break here. We'll be back with entertainment news. Stars remember director Stanley Kramer. Plus, still ahead, if your brokerage firm makes you feel broke, maybe we can find a little sympathy. Details when KHIZ News continues. How would you like to be able to train at home for an exciting new career or a business of your own? With Professional Career Development Institute, you can study at home in your spare time and at your own pace without ever setting foot inside a classroom. I love doing medical transcriptions so I can be with my kids. Professional Career Development Institute trained me at home, and I love working the hours I want and being my own boss. PCDI's home study course on bookkeeping and accounting was so easy to understand. Now I have the training I needed. Call now to get free literature on any one of PCDI's exciting career opportunities. Get your career diploma in medical transcription, paralegal, medical claims billing, bookkeeping, accounting, child daycare, computer training, teacher assistant, home inspection, gunsmithing, interior decorating, veterinary assistant, bridal consultant, computer programming, medical dental office assistant, small business management, floral design, private investigator, pharmacy technician, locksmithing, hotel restaurant management, electrician, high school diploma, or get your associate degree in paralegal, accounting, business management, or criminal justice. These courses will be repeated for you, so be ready to jot down the course you're most interested in. Then call for your free career training literature. Thanks to PCDI's Paralegal Home Study course, I have a career I'm proud of. With PCDI, I can study in my spare time while still keeping my regular job. You'll get this nationally accredited diploma after you've trained for the career you've always wanted. Just select the career of your choice and call for your free career training literature. It costs you nothing to get the facts, so call now. Call 1-800-423-1800 for free literature on any one of the 26 courses listed on your screen. That's 1-800-423-1800. Find out how easy it is to train at home for a new career or business of your own. Call 1-800-423-1800. That's 1-800-423-1800. Welcome back. Recapping our top local stories, the price of natural gas is dropping. Southwest Gas officials have announced a rate decrease of nearly 18 percent. Still, gas prices are ranging about $1.10 per therm compared to just 30 cents a year ago. And many high desert residents, including employees at Victorville City Hall, took part in the annual duck cover and hold drill. It's part of the state's earthquake preparedness month. In entertainment news, stars remember director Stanley Kramer Miss Congeniality wins in the foreign box office, and Dolly Parton returns to the big screen. With more on those stories, here's Sherry Sylvester. This is Sherry Sylvester with the Hollywood Minute. Stanley Kramer's friends are remembering the late director. Sidney Poitier, Mickey Rooney, and Sid Caesar were among the mourners at a memorial tribute in West Hollywood for Kramer, who died in February at the age of 87. Miss Congeniality is wearing a crown overseas. The Sandra Bullock movie is tops at the international box office, earning more than $2 million over the weekend in Germany. It is also big in Austria, Britain, and Australia. Dolly Parton is returning to movie theaters for the first time in almost a decade. According to The Hollywood Reporter, she's on board to co-star in Frank McCluskey's C.I., a comedy about a slightly twisted insurance claims investigator. This is Sherry Sylvester with The Hollywood Minute. 
As the tap dance continues on Wall Street, the effects are starting to trickle down to middle America. If your brokerage account is making you feel broke, if your 401k is doing anything but okay, maybe you'd like a little sympathy from the folks to whom gave you your money. Jeannie Moose makes the most on a sorry story. We are seeing a lot of new lows that were established yesterday. Remember the good old days when market meant the grocery store and falling prices were good. You can see this a straight drop down. And it had been down just about every day this week. We got hammered yesterday. God, it was a bad day. And as if losing money wasn't bad enough, look at how they tell you about it in those shareholder reports. This Goldman Sachs Internet Fund generated, not lost, generated negative 37%. Maybe they should generate an apology. I want them to say, I'm sorry we lost so much of your money. Oh, yeah, definitely. Instead of Goldman Sachs, I need my apology from Payne Weber because that's where they lost my money. But even better, my money back. I'm going to need an apology from Putnam Investments. <laughs> How big an apology are you going to need? A big one. <laughs> like a 40% apology? Like a 52% apology. <laughs> but don't hold your breath. You're not going to see that. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's like politicians telling you, telling you the truth. Bob Olstein manages a fund that still manages to eke out positive returns. Money managers follow the lead of love story. Love means never having to say you're sorry. So does investing. Our apology proposal got mixed reviews. Very naive. I made the decision to enter the stock market. It's my fault. It's not their fault. Maybe we should be apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. You don't think I'm going to get an apology? Probably not. All right. Sorry. See, I got one from you. Yeah, I'm Thank sorry. you. <laughs> the market swoon hasn't stopped those rosy commercials. Lucent Technologies. Expect great things. Expect all you want, but Lucent stock has tanked. And then there's the thanks Payne Weber spot. It spawned a joke about a guy who goes home to his extravagant wife and tells her they're now broke. You're going to have to get a job. And she jumped off the balcony, and he walked over to the balcony and said, thank you, Payne Weber. Thank you, Payne Weber. Thank you for the 47% loss in the strategy fund, or the tragedy fund. Like the reversible puppet at the NASDAQ gift shop, Bull turned to bear. How much does that cost? $22.99. $22.99. The puppet's worth more than a share of Cisco. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York. Hmm. Well, I don't have to worry about investing because David's got all my money now. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't much. <laughs> I don't have much. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to apologize? No, I think you should. No, for I taking my should. money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work this out and we'll see you back here tomorrow night. I'm David Wiley. I'm Robert Blue. Have a great evening.